basically the water goes through in here and the rocks and the gravel remove all the bigger parts. UBC Okanagan students were dressed in their best, presenting intricate designs to a panel of judges, looking at how innovative and marketable their projects are during the annual year-end engineering student design showcase. From, from the position, so they have to keep adjusting it, right? Yeah, but the idea is once they're on, it's not going to move due to the weight applied to it. They were given a choice of three different themes, creating a cardboard chair for a child, a water purifier, or power walk charger. The purpose of the event and the builds are designed to help first-year students try to figure out what arm of engineering they may want to pursue, whether it's civil, mechanical, or electrical. I'm so proud of them. They are really good. As a first-year student, they are doing really well on this project. Inside this device is a solenoid, and a magnet passes through the solenoid and induces a current, which then goes into our USB port, charging our battery. We put our device on the side of our shoe, with laces, not the dress shoes, and as you walk, the magnet passes back and forth. Throughout walking, extended amount of walking, you can then take the device off and either plug your phone directly into the USB port, or you can, and that'll charge your phone, or you can unclip this and leave the solenoid behind and save this as a battery bank later in your pocket. This is our PowerWalk insole. It uses piezoelectrics, and the pressure and release supplies current, and we use the resurrector to uh, allow both the pressure and releasing pressure um, to supply current to actually power a light bulb. And charge a cell phone perhaps. You can charge a power bank to have it to charge your cell phone and we made it for emergency scenarios like when you're hiking and you run out of power on your phone and you just need that little bit to make that an emergency call for help. Three minutes is all they're given to present. In those 180 seconds they must describe the ins and outs of the project as well as demonstrate. And this year, a bit of a wrench was thrown into the project. This year, students weren't allowed to pick their project mates. This helped the kids understand the importance of working with people they may not already know, which could easily happen on a work site. The way that they made the project work, and actually they are showing that it's really working, it's not a prototype, they are showing that the project is working and they're getting something out of it, it's really impressive. To produce roughly around 1,000 units, we could get the cost of this down to about $8. So for someone to be able to go for a walk and easily charge their phone for, say, $20 or $25, whatever we could sell it for, is quite an achievement and quite a, you, you don't have to use the power at your house anymore as long as you can do this. You need to go to the Dragons, hey? Yeah, exactly. Impressive prototypes from these students indeed. Reflective, perhaps, of the future and what we will soon be using in our everyday lives. From Kelowna for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.